That room is scary. Hello? Hello? Um. Ah! That's her, Stanley. You oh need to be the one to God. do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Um. Hello? Who's this? Uh. What? Oh, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Huh? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Do I really want to do? Okay, for once I'll listen to you, because I am curious. Hello? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? P. No, no, no. That's my job, isn't it? That's, like, what I do every day. I'm not going back to that job. No. No, I won't do it. You can't make me. Um. Uh, can I go now? I... Fine, fine, I'll, I'll press P. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. No, no, I don't, I don't want to do this. Let me out, let me out, no, let me out, let me out, robot lady. Look at him there, pushing oh. buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Oh, this now is going to turn out to be my button. room, isn't it? Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One mighty one mighty feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I did not choose this life. Oh, my God. But in his mind, ah. Oh, look at in that. In his mind, mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And, and each day that he returned to work, to work was, a was a reminder that none of it, none of it would ever, ever happen to him. To him. Uh huh. T. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Wait, the you mean I'm dreaming? excited him terribly. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. I think I'm having a bit of frame rate lag, probably due to the fact that I have too many videos recorded. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, press O to spend time with the boys. Can I still not get out? Is that a, not an O? Maybe it's a zero. So he oh, went there we further. Go. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It Choice. barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh no. I don't want to do this. Stop making me do this. As he wandered ah! through this fantasy world, oh, no, we're he going began back to fill to it with office. many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. 
and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby, and he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Game? Baby? What? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Yeah, I... But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? Yeah, we're... In reality, all this he's is doing is pushing office. the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. No. Uh. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. You never Here, said that. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Um. Uh. What else can I do, though? What else can I do, Mike? If I'm not pressing the button? Give me an option! No... <laughs> this isn't how it's supposed to be. I have no choice. You see? Can he just not hear me? Ah. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Give me a mirror. No. Can I press other buttons? Will it work? Nope. Nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? No! And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... Aww. And that is the life of Stanley.